Hello, Jim. <clears throat> Sorry I'm making this video so late. Um, did a lot of stuff today. I wanted to make this video in the morning. Um, like I said, I had some difficulties with my camera. <clears throat> so let's get right into it. Um, so this is a French waltz. It's a very popular song. I believe it's an E minor. I don't know exactly, but I think it's an E minor. So there I just did <coughs> the E minor scale, both of them. Um, Again, I have no idea what your skill level is at the moment. Um, I would say before attacking the song, um, try and be as comfortable as possible with arpeggios, triads, scales in E minor. It's gonna facilitate um, you moving around on the keyboard. Because this song is pretty tricky. There are some, some, some big gaps in some areas. And if you're not comfortable really with, you know, the dynamics of your hand movements within the scale, uh, you'll have a bit of a harder time. So what I mean by that are triads in E minor. Solid and broken. as well I haven't played in a few days my hands are kind of rusty but um, so that's it uh, if you have questions on that message me and I'll explain what I just did in more detail um, so, you can build yourself an introduction. Um, if you'd like me to make you an introduction, I, I can do that, no problem. Uh, could be absolutely anything. But I'll do that separately. So for now, I'm not sure exactly what you want me to break down um, so I'll just break everything down so you start on B and you're basically doing the four note the four four note chord of E minor in the second inversion so B E G B then you're doing D and then you're gonna do a triplet going down So, B, E, G, B, D, triplet going down. So that's C, D, C, B. Okay. Now, the fingering I use is one, two, four. So one, two, four. Then I shift my hand down and do thumb. Then three, two, three, one. And I, I do this. I go down to the B flat and back to the B. Instead of, I find this is very like dry and you're, you're cutting it a bit too short. I don't like that as much. I like to linger a bit. I like to 
have played a little bit more lazy. <clears throat> I know a lot of players play at the... It's like a, they played almost like a military waltz. <laughs> I don't know. For me, it needs it needs a little bit more groove. And, uh, you know. So that's it. You do... You can come down chromatically to the B flat, then back to B. Here's a different idea. So instead of doing this twice, you can do it once, and then you you do the inverse after, which so what I'm doing here is B, G, E, D, C. Then I'm doing a triplet going down again between C, uh, B, C, and A. Then I'm going to A sharp and back to B. So, <clears throat> there's all kinds of things you can do, really. Uh, possibilities are absolutely endless. And um, I would say for you to start, you can maybe do this. Then you do it an octave higher. Now, when you do... the entire video listing uh, naming off the notes um, but I'm gonna play that again for you slowly <laughs> it's written <laughs> so I'm trying to think of what the actual notes are that you'd be learning which uh, I'm having a bit of a hard time um, so that's it you can do uh, um, trills here if you want Okay, I'm gonna teach, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna show you something here, which is um, really nice. So instead of doing... What you can do is combine basically uh, both, both sections in this, in this form here. So what I'm doing here is basically I'm doing a chromatic uh, descent. So boom, B, the E, E flat, D, C sharp. So it sounds like this. 
Jesus. Then I go to the G sharp. Now, that's the first part. Again, I can go into much deeper detail if you need, but um, it's just to try and give you a little bit more ideas to expand on the music. You know. The second part is a little bit tricky. Let me play it first. I've not played the song in there. 